wiring floating neutral on Briggs and Stratton generator. I want to hook to my circuit panel directly. I will disconnect main while in use. My panel box has continuity between neutral and ground. My generator also has continuity between neutral and ground. The manual states it is a bonded neutral. I'm told I need to make it a floating neutral which I assume means separating the ground and neutral on the generator. Here is a link to the manual wiring diagram look at page 22. HTTP colon slash psintech.bosco.com slash Briggs document display slash gfhtbgxfnfboo7y.pdf copy and paste link if can't click. I think it is the ground connected to the neutral in the alternator section of the alternator. I'm looking for confirmation on this. Welcome. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX would be glad to assist. You are correct. On page 22 in the upper left corner, you see where a ground connection is made to the neutral on the generator. That ground connection would be removed for a floating neutral. Thanks. Just to be sure, since my panel box has neutral and ground is common, do I need to make my generator have a floating neutral? Does this generator have GFCI breakers or standard breakers? I don't think so, but it does have reset buttons. Also I am not using a transfer switch. Okay, you are fine. Float the neutral, yes. Your main panel has its own ground system connected and serves the needs. You only want one ground system. Okay, because it looks to be a pain in the butt to trace these wires. Manufacturer makes it hard to change. They do them both ways for some reason, never made any sense. I cannot see on the drawing where that wire connects on the other end. Maybe there is a common point that is easier to get to. Usually they have them all at the same point and then just get the correct one removed. I figured if they are common in the box then they would be common in my portable general. The gen is not earth grounded, only to frame. Look for a point where there are three wires joined and connect to the frame. That will be the common ground point where that wire runs from the neutral connection. They usually do not have a habit of using different points. You would just remove it and tape it up. You do not want to remove it because you will need it when using the generator as a standalone. I see three wires going to frame, one from trickle charger to battery, one from neutral off outlets, the Ethereum not sure about. The drawings only show the neutrals connected to the main terminal block, not to the frame. Okay, so I will disconnect the ground bonded to the neutral on the outlets. Correct. It shows in the left corner of the drawing. Just don't know where it is in reality. Okay, so should I label the generator as floating neutral? Will it be unsafe to use with extension cords as manufacturer intended? You will connect it back if you are going to use drop cords for power. So, you need to make note for future reference. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.